Cases are on the rise during a time when COVID and RSV are already rampant. Several school districts in Kentucky and I have taken the day off trying to cut down on transmission and now hospitals are seeing the effects. WHAS 11's Taylor Woods talked with local doctors ahead of a holiday expected to make this spread even worse. With some hospitals seeing an uptick in flu and COVID cases, doctors say it's best to practice safety precautions going into this holiday weekend. Since the month of October, Baptist Health has seen single digits of influenza cases daily, and in November, the hospital went into double digits every week. Just a week ago, they were into the 30s. This week alone, in the first three days, we're up into the 20s. So we're seeing an escalation of people with flu needing admission to the hospital. Norton Healthcare flu rates increased drastically in the last five weeks, going from 2% to now 50%. And Dr. Anderson explains what this flu variant is. The flu that we're typing is the H3N3 variant and the H1N1 variant that's been reported. However, there is good news. These two types are in the flu vaccine. So if folks gotten their flu vaccines, then they're going to be better protected and hopefully won't be visiting our hospital. When it comes to COVID, Baptist and Norton have seen a decrease in cases. A report from Norton also shows they have also seen a decline in RSV cases. Going into the holiday weekend, Dr. Anderson says it's best for everyone to be safe. Everyone's tired of the mask, but if you're in a closed environment, masking is the best thing. Uh, we're still doing it in our hospital because we feel like we're protecting our patients and protecting our staff and making sure that hand washing and using hand sanitizer is important. Proper coughing, things of this nature. Don't cough into your hands and then shake somebody uh, because that's just spreading the virus and the germs again. In Louisville, Taylor Woods, WHAS 11 on your side. We did reach out to local school districts to ask them exactly how many students have been absent due to illness, but they were not able to provide those numbers.